Hi everyone, I'm Monica from Scola. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's Scola School Chat video. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our awesome school interviews. Ready to look at some schools? I know I am. Let's jump right into it. Hi everyone, thank you for joining us. I'm Monica with Scola and today we're here at Merrick Academy Charter School and I'm joined by Samantha Pugh, Principal. Thank you so much for joining us. I thank you for having me, I'm so super excited. <laughs> so uh, to start off, can you tell us about the mission here at Merrick Academy? So the mission at Merrick Academy is simple but very complex. We simply want to provide um, a high quality, world class education for our, our kids in this area. Um, and bigger than that, we also, our educational program is, relies heavily on the core values of inquiry, equi equity, and excellence. So our instructional program is developed with the idea of our individual child in mind, um, the individual student in mind. What is it that is going to make sure that our kids are most successful, not just academically, but social emotionally and of course what I call communally. So what going out into the world and being not just a productive citizen, but an innovator and a change agent in their community. So to wrap all of that up into one big mission is we want to provide the best education for our kids. And it's not just a, a checkoff list that uh, listed checks off that says what's the best, but it's also how our kids grow, where they grow, how they develop, how our teachers develop, and how we support them. Um, it's an ecosystem of, of instruction and support here at Merrick. Yeah, and you also mentioned how you want the community to be very involved and to be as supportive as possible. Absolutely. And so how do the parents come into play as well? Oh, we have the best parents ever. Uh, we have a very, very supportive uh, family structure here. And I think that's a lot to do with, that's the culture of our school. We are intentionally welcoming and encompassing and really um, put together strategies to ensure that our parents feel like partners in education. We, um, we reach out to them on a regular basis. Uh, we invest in programming for them. We invest in communication to them. We invest a lot of time in our families as a way to um, develop our families to be advocates for their children. And, um, and that's a skill that's transferable anywhere. So when we talk about community service and community work, it benefits Merrick's direct community, but the work that we do with our families and our kids prepares them for advocacy outside of here. Um, and that is something that is really important to us. Uh, we, we do a lot with our families. Uh, we, I have coffee with the principal every week. It lived once a month before the pandemic, but we saw a big need for our families to be engaged. Um, so we engage them every week. <laughs> um, and, it, and we have different ways that parents volunteer. Uh, we have our parents are a part of our decision making, so they've helped think about the new curriculum for this year. They have, uh, they, we have a STEAM support group. We have a parents of students with special needs support groups. So we are very much so invested in that because we want to build a community of leaders, not just leaders that go outside. And we are in Southeast Queens. Um, which is a really, really historically successful neighborhood, but has had some challenges um, that other neighborhoods that resemble ours. Uh, but there's a deep history here. There's a deep connectedness here, and we want to leverage that to make sure that it resembles in our school building and that the work that we do resembles those great things that live right here in this community. That's great. Yeah, you can definitely see the excitement going mm -hmm. on in this school from students yep. and staff. We're very hands-on. We're not, so like you'll see, you've probably seen me. I'm on the floor doing painting with the kids. I'm high-fiving, trying to figure it out how to not to high-five after COVID, but I just love the kids so much. You'll see our APs in classrooms. You see our teachers like, uh, we are very hands-on, vis visible, and not just visible, but valuable, because we want people to see that we value them so, we, so that they value the work that we do. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Now I want to ask you about the type of learning and teaching that goes on Ooh. here at Merrick Academy. It's fantastic. Um, I think, I mean, I'm the Chief Academic Officer, so you may not want to listen to me, but I think we have a fantastic instructional program. I'm extremely impressed by the work that we do. Uh, we do a lot of research, we spend a lot of time thinking about what the best practices are 
um, across the board. What are uh, the elite schools doing? What are the schools that are similar to ours? What are the successful schools doing? And we define the success in many ways. Like, we don't want to just look at a school that doesn't resemble ours, but we do want to look at some of the practices that are rep replicable in our school. So um, we think about that, and then we think about what's best for our school community. So uh, when we develop cu cu um, curriculum, so we're switching over our curriculum to be, our math curriculum to be in a lot more alignment with um, the new generation standards and as well as the current common core standards. So we're very thoughtful about that. We also want a curriculum that's user friendly to our teachers. That has a, and because we're a STEAM school, that has a technology component. And because we are committed to equity and excellence uh, and inquiry, it has to be something that helps kids problem solve and develop critical thinking skills and make their th thinking visible. Because when you're thinkers and that's visible, teachers know how to support and then um, kids get more invested. And then it's this idea of equity. Who are our kids, right? So it's not a one size fits all and instruction it is uh, we have a standard that we want to meet and we know that the kids have to but what is the work that we have to do to get them there uh, so it's that equity piece and also thinking about what's culturally responsive and responsible so it could be responsive but not responsible so when I say responsible how does it make our kids feel about who they are when they leave out of their classroom and we are very thoughtful about that. So our instructional program, we have, we're committed to literacy across the content areas. So what you'll find is that we have humanities box starting at kindergarten, where kids are learning through authentic experiences with literacy and history. Uh, we're very much so committed to African-American history. So every single one of our kids from K through five will experience African-American history. This year, we're super excited. We'll be offering foreign language. We'll be offering Arabic and Mandarin to our kids, um, K through five. And on top of that, they have 120 minutes of math, 90 minutes of ELA, learning labs, and um, advisory. So it is a well-rounded approach to how we um, build community, how we build learning, how we build engagement and a love for learning through inquiry, equity, and excellence. It's incredible. Yes. Now, if you had to pick three things that make Merrick Academy different from any other school out there, what would those three things be? Um, the community, uh, the love that we have for each other uh, is, I've never felt it anywhere else. And I've been in a lot of schools, both professionally and personally, but the love and commitment of the teachers, the staff, and our families, it's bar none. Um, that, if you can't think of any other reason to get up in the morning, um, just the love that they show each other and the support that they show each other. Um, two, is this re relentless pursuit of excellence. So we have um, dedicated a lot of time and resources to making sure that we don't stop thinking about what's best for kids, what's best for teachers. We're always in that cycle of thinking about that and keeping people at the center. Uh, all of our work is with keeping people at the center. So we come from the approach of, all right, so let's look at the data to see what people, our kids need, what do our parents need, what does our staff need, and that's how we make decisions as opposed to the other way around. So, and if I had to add a fourth one, like we have a pretty amazing instructional program that's ambitious, that's rigorous, but also meets the needs of our kids and is realistic. That's incredible. Now, lastly, I want to ask you about the location of your school where parents can go to uh, find more information online. Well, we are in Southeast Queens, um, Springfield Gardens, Laurelton area, the best area in this part of Queens, if I must say. Um, so we're right here. We're a small school with big dreams. So we're, we're, our doors are always open. You can uh, look for us on www.merrickacademy.org. That's our website. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram. Um, and uh, just come and check us out. We're excited. We, we love family. So we, we love building a bigger family. So come and check us out. I'm now joined by Stephanie Motorstock, Executive Director here at Merrick Academy. So Stephanie, can you tell us a little bit about what it's like working here at Merrick Academy? Sure. Well, I have been um, working in charter schools uh, in New York City and nationally for over the last 20 years. I started at Merrick in July of 2020, so a very unusual time, right, because we were in a pandemic. 
Um, and uh, so our school was largely remote for the year. Um, but what I have really learned and loved about my experience here at Merrick is getting to know my leadership team. It is very clear that they um, are very mission and vision aligned and that our shared pursuit is really to serve the students, the families, and the community of Merrick very well. I also see that when I'm able to pop into teachers' classrooms, albeit this year via Zoom. I see the instruction they're providing. And we serve here at Merrick a really diverse student population. Um, and that's inclusive of students who speak a a language other than English at home. We also serve a lot of students who are identified as special education in specialized settings. Um, so it's a, it's a very diverse community and therefore we have a very diverse staff that we're able to bring to support our students that's unique from other schools in terms of the level of academic intervention services guidance counselors, deans. It's a really robust team that's not only focused on academic achievement, but social emotional learning as well. That's incredible. And can I ask you, what is the one thing that drives the staff here at Merrick Academy? So Merrick is unique. This school was founded, so we are a public charter school, which means we accept all, all public school students. This school was founded in 2000. So we are one of the oldest charter schools in New York City and certainly one of the most long-standing ones in Queens, in Southeast Queens where we're located. Um, and I think what really drives um, our staff and our leadership is the commitment to the community and a strong understanding since we've been serving this community for so long of what their needs are. Um, and I think you see that in examples. A great example is this year's summer school program, right? So we had remote learning all of last in the 2020-21 instructional year. Our kids and families are excited to get back and so we developed a really robust summer school program this year that's serving almost 50% of our students. Um, but it is academic in nature, social emotional learning in nature. It is completely aligned with our vision and mission to become a STEAM school. Um, and then there is a broad exposure to a lot of different extracurricular activities, including swimming and tennis and lacrosse and soccer. So we're just, we're excited to be able to offer that to families. So lastly, where can families go to online to find more information about Merrick Academy? Sure, you can go to our website at merrickacademy.org. Um, still always under construction um, as we seek to better meet the needs of both our staff, our students, and our family in proactive communication. And we also appreciate our partnership with SCOLA. Yeah, you can definitely go to SCOLA.com to learn more about Merrick Academy. So thank you, Stephanie, for joining us today. Thank you, Monica. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's Scola School Chat video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you would like to watch more of our awesome videos, make sure to click here. And to stay up to date with all the awesome videos we post and subscribe to our channel, make sure to click here. See you on the next one.